You forgot. Oh, this is horrible. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I know how much stress you've been under. No, no, that, that's no excuse. God. You're so terrible of me. On top of it, I'm late. Can you imagine this? Of all days, today I had to be the one for them to send that stupid guy to come so I could be relieved from duty. I'm so sick of this stupid job. They just want to be stressing you out, working like a slave for minimum wage. I mean, what kind of rubbish okay, is that? Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. You're here now, hmm? And the day's not over. Go and change. Let's get this party started. Make it sound so simple. Okay, you know what I want for my birthday? I want us to have a nice romantic dinner. Then I want us to watch a movie. Then you get the idea. But most importantly, I want us to not complain about anything. Let's just forget all our problems, eh? Huh? Will you give me that as my birthday gift? I feel really bad. Look at that. I should be the one doing all that for you now. So does that mean I'm not going to get my wish? Sorry. Okay. What do you want me to wear? 
something a little nicer with a better attitude. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't even compliment me. You don't like what you see. What? You look beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. <laughs> oh yeah, go and change. Come back and bring me Superman. Let me mean Black Panther. <laughs> yes, sorry. Bring me back the king. <laughs> so, what happened to the one I sent you last year? Oh, is that so? The latest version has come out. <laughs> so the one you have is not working anymore, Abby. <sighs> okay. Is there anything else you want me to buy for you? Are you sure? Okay. How about your friends? Is there anything you want me to buy for them? No. How about your favorite teacher? No, how about your principal? Are you sure they don't want the latest iPod or uh, iPhone? Sorry. Sorry for who? Better be sorry for yourself. My friend, hand over the phone to mama. I said hand the phone over. Mama, what's the matter with that boy? Does he think I'm plucking money from trees here or what? Young is not an excuse for foolishness. He's old enough to use common sense. Uh -uh. Every time is this one or, or the other thing, especially him. Why is he asking me for things that I don't even buy for myself? Uh -uh. Am, am I their father? I mean, did I come here to, to, uh, to, to fend for them? Sorry, mama. <laughs> mama. I don't mean to complain, I'm just... It's just a really hectic season for me right now, that's all. I have, I have lots on my plate. Mama, I know, and I appreciate that. <laughs> no, Mama, she's not. Don't worry, you'll be the first to know. Just be a little bit patient. It will happen at the right time now. <laughs> okay, Mama. I hear you. All right. Okay, um, Mama, I have to go. I'm running late for work. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, come, Mama. Okay. Bye bye. I'm sorry. Did I wake you? No, it's fine. I know I could just say no, but they just keep asking for money for clothes and things, and when you say no, it just makes you look stingy. Meanwhile, it's them, oh. I mean, don't they use common wisdom? <laughs> anyway, um, you said you wanted to talk to me about something last night? Um, don't worry, we'll talk about it later. Alright, well, I'll see you later after work, alright? Ah, are you just going to leave without kissing your wife goodbye? Mm, I haven't brushed my teeth. <laughs>
So who is infertile, you or him? Uh-uh. Cynthia, what kind of question is that? How rude. Girl, we are family. Who else are you gonna keep it real with? Besides, I'm only echoing what everyone else has been asking. Who's everyone else? Uh, can I get a glass, please? <sighs> yes, Queen Cynthia. Ah. We gotta recognize. <laughs> So, who's everyone else? You know, I'm really feeling this mini kitchen. Really? Is that right? Yeah, it's like a, a life-size dollhouse. Well, you know I've always wanted one of those dollhouses, ever since we were kids. Yeah, you could practically reach for anything from one spot. And that's the beauty of living in a life-size dollhouse. <laughs> but, Cynthia, who is everyone else? So you haven't been receiving any pressure from your momsy? My mom is everyone else? Come on. Come on, you know how it is when you've been married over nine months with no baby and no belly. I mean, how long have you been married anyway? Five years? Three. Well, that's well over nine months. Can the nice Cynthia please come out and play now? You don't think I'm being nice right now? Anyway, for your information, neither one of us are infertile. We're just waiting until the right time to bring our baby into this world. <laughs> okay, I know whose idea that was. Oh, Cynthia, please. Seriously though, can I just, can I just be honest with you for one moment? Is that even possible? <laughs> wow! That was a dirty play. Okay, but I'm gonna be a good sport. I'm gonna let it slide this time. You know I love you, right? Feel something. Yes, you feel the own pocket. Bros. <laughs> Nothing did yet to hold. See, team dry. Man, be like my tan. Eh? Ima, but wait, oh. Uh -huh. Not be the same work with the work and over time. So? Plus, now you be bachelor. Uh -huh. Why is it that you're always the one asking for money? <laughs> Bros, see. No, sir. Not be rocket science. See, eh, between sending money back home and money for rent payment, there's barely any money left for food, not to mention transportation costs. But I've already told you, you need to cut your coat according to your own size. You don't see me now. I be tailor. <laughs> <laughs> see, don't there, they crack jokes. Uh -uh. You know, say comedians for Niger, they, they make serious mula just in case you want to do this comedy thing. See, guy, not they interested in comedy. Me, I'm just a very funny person. I hear you. Eh. Anyway, uh -huh. you need to give up that big apartment and and move out of that expensive neighborhood. You can go to a smaller apartment or even rent like a studio or something. Ah, studio. But didn't they worry yourself? I don't know about studio, Sha. Why? I never marry. And? I intend to marry up in life. See, eh? I want me the apartment serve as leverage for the kind of people they find. Mm. No correct babe will get class and self-respect. Could they interested in pulling with the guy we're not fit pulling with? You understand what I talk? So now your apartment she won't marry. Come on, bro, see. Okay, let's be real. You, you are very lucky. Not a lot of women are like a fusa. As a matter of fact, she's one in a million. I've never met any other woman willing to downgrade inside a marriage. Eh? Wait, so so 
So me not that great. Now sorry, they used to cost me, Abby. Why why? Why would they talk like that? Now just compliment her, they compliment your wife, eh? I was just hailing her. See, eh? You can tell that she's tasted the good side of life, at least before things fell apart in that country. Perhaps it was fate bringing both of Una together. I doubt it to say she for even see if her papa level not drop. Sometimes that's a blessing in disguise. Because I believe it's those humbling circumstances that made such a strong, beautiful character in her. So yes, I'm reaping the blessing. Or rather, the blessings. Okay, ma, make I tell you something. There are good women out there. But you never find them if you're trying to be someone or something you are not. If a woman follows you for your possessions, she'll just end up despising you. I'm telling you. Yes, Master Sensei. <laughs> you speak with the knowledge of the praying mantis. Uh, okay, Mr. Cominia. Ah. See, I'm not personally follow your type play. Sorry. But on a serious note, I hear you. I'll take your advice. Really? Yeah. I'll move out of my apartment. And I'll look for a cheaper solution. As a matter of fact, actually, I have a, I have a great idea. Really? Yeah. So, I can move in with you guys, and we can split the rent three ways. How you see them? They Chris. Did they shock you? <laughs> they use a Google Hotel ring smart. Or swore. Not be really apartment. For you. My we friend, go ahead, move to uh, the secure boots. So you don't not do go for find you. your own apartment. Ah. And they worry you. I see, I get big house. Not this way they talk. Big house, now they borrow money every day. You know the shame. They be your brother's keeper. Why are we friends? Which kind of friend? Do I know you? We are co-workers. And they do like I don't know you like that. Go and find your own apartment. Not the shame. Your mates are born children. Now me, they borrow money from. Come in there. Not be go go sell ticket. They there they live cheap life. They there they live cheap life. Not be the same. Who they borrow money now? Cheap life. See your life. Not be money they borrow. I agree. Yeah. You never pay me that money. Nervous. Nervous. Okay, how about we put your honesty to test? Okay, go ahead. All right. Are you happy? Am I happy? Uh-uh. It's English I spoke, nah? <laughs> yes. My honesty meter is detecting some conflict with your answer. <laughs> your honesty meter is broken. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so tell me this. If you could do it all over again, would you still choose Nosa over Desmond? I can't believe I'm even entertaining this. I beg. Believe it and answer, honestly. You're basically asking me if I would still pick love over comforts. I don't mind comforts. Oh, believe me, there are days when I so wish that money wasn't an issue. But at the end of the day, I'd still pick love above all. See, I think in some ways you're wrong. Yeah? Yeah, you equate Nosa to love and Desmond to money. That is a faulty equation. I mean, the way I see it, Nosa is love without money and Desmond is love with money. I know, I seen how madly in love with you he was. The guy was lovesick, no lie. But I wasn't in love with him. That doesn't matter. He is a young, rich, handsome prince <laughs> and in love with you. You know, that is every woman's dream. Prince, that's a little bit of a stretch. His father is a chief. Anyways, he has princely money. <laughs> Why don't you go and marry him then? It is not me he wants. Anyways, did you see what he bought his current girlfriend? A new convertible Benz. Mm. I saw it on IG. I guess he finally found love after all. That car is fine. <sighs> Babe, that could have been you. 
I'm happy with Nosa. I've told you, Nosa is my soulmate, my best friend. I couldn't imagine going on this journey called life without him. That is why for richer or for poorer, in good times and in bad times, love is what makes life special. <laughs> you sound like an old R&B song. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I am the champion! You're not the only champion, that was pure luck. Luck! Excuse me! That was pure mathematical genius. Is that so? <laughs> yes, and if you're looking for an excuse, bring those oversized fingers of yours. What? These? Oversized fingers? <laughs> ah, want to oversized fingers. No, sir. No sad, no sad, no, no sad, no, no sad, no sad, no no sad, no sad, no sad, no no Can you believe the delivery guy just left Mr. Edward's package on the sidewalk? Good thing this is not our last neighborhood. <laughs> it would have disappeared by now. Remember when you ordered that small camera? Please, don't remind me. Did you at least ring the doorbell? I don't need one more person asking me for any more money. You know he can just come downstairs and knock on the door, right? You're so sure he's going to raise the rent? It's been over two years. Believe me, he's trying to give us a heads up. Maybe he's trying to invite you to church. Nah, he already knows the answer to that. Busy, busy, busy. No time for God. What? Is that the pot calling the kettle black? I am neither a pot nor a pothead, thank you very much. In fact, the Bible says I am a saint. <laughs> Okay, Saint Ephesa, show me when the Bible says you need to go to church to get to heaven. That's not fair. Why don't you go to church and ask the pastor? There's no need for that. <laughs> he can't find either because it's not there. You know, I really miss the days when we used to go to church together. Very encouraging. And you were a lot more positive. Well, I guess I'm too negative for you now, Sente Fosa. Come and lie down next to me. I want a baby. I think it's time. Pressure is getting to you. It's not that. My biological clock is ticking. Seriously? I thought we had a plan. What about nursing school? You still have, what, two years left? Babe, are we almost 30 by then? My mother had me at 34. Her last one in her 40s. Did you seriously just make your mother the standard? All I'm saying is 29 is still pretty young. Even your mama no go let me hear what if we haven't had a baby in a year. So is the pressure from my parents is getting to you? It's not... Babe, we have a plan. Let's just stick to it. It's not the pressure from my parents. Yes, it is. It's not the pressure from my parents. I hate it when you do that. What? When you try and tell me how I feel. 
I just told you it's nothing to do with our parents and you still insist. Gosh, I hate that. Sorry. Why don't you just let me tell you how I feel and listen to me? I said I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead, talk, I'm listening. Stop overreacting. You see, you see, there you go again. Oh, come on, what now? Ah. You know what, don't worry, I don't feel like talking anymore. Seriously, you're just going to leave me here just like that? Efosa. Leave me, Joe. Efosa. Efosa. How are you doing? Sorry, mommy. Didn't want to shock you or anything. Listen, I think my mother likes you. I know she can't talk, but I can tell. You know, I like you too. I didn't like the other age. She was too stuck up and had an attitude, but you don't. Even if you're far more prettier than her. You know, I don't see a lot of African women that pretty. What part you're from? Wakanda? <laughs> I know it's not a real place. But check this out. If you were a queen, what kind of queen you would be? My kind of queen. You get the joke? What kind of queen? My kind of queen? I guess it's... So wait, is he getting physical with you? No, it's not that. So then like what, is he asking us to dinner, on a date or something like that? No, it's just constant compliments. Compliments, Mira, please. I wish somebody would be complimenting me all day. I'm gonna send my boyfriend to him. Trust me, this is not the sort of man you want your boyfriend around. He has this weird vibe. He's just very weird and creepy. My guts just don't agree with him. Well, remember what they said in training. Sometimes you gotta trust your gut. I know, and that's my dilemma. Can I really ask them to transfer me because my guts don't agree with the son of my clients? No say. I don't know. Plus, you know how long it took them to give me this reassignment. That'll be like the third one in less than two months. I don't know. Anyway. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, no, sir. You were just on my mind. Thank you. I've been meaning to talk with you. It's about your rent. First of all, let me say how pleased I am to have you guys as my tenants. It honestly feels more like family living downstairs. And I especially want to thank you about how you've been voluntarily taking the garbage out for the house on pickup days. That has been such a relief for me. That's okay, it's not a problem, sir. So you know your two-year lease is ending next month, and as that, a renewal usually comes with an increase in rent. However, I have a proposal for you if you're interested. 
Okay. I was thinking, if you could help with the house maintenance, things like mowing the lawn regularly or blowing the leaves, shoveling the snow during winter, things of that nature. I'm thinking I can knock $150 off your monthly rent. Okay, I'll knock off $200. <laughs> yes. Yes. Great. Yes, I'll do it. We have a deal. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cynthia. She left them here. She came here? You didn't mention that to me. Is she forbidden from visiting? Oh, come on. You know how I feel about her. Well, she's family. And she happens to be one of my closest friends. Yeah. Her arrogant and snobbish friend. She's human. We all have flaws. You won't have to wash your clothes anymore. We can just hire Sarah just for that. I don't have a problem washing my own clothes. Well, if I had my own way, I wouldn't want my wife to lift a finger. Thinking about this baby thing and how much it means to you. You don't have to do me any favors. Oh, come on. I'm really trying here. Sorry. I'm sorry for not hearing you. I don't know, maybe. Maybe I'm the one who's not handling the pressure well. I know your family didn't think you were making the right choice marrying me. In fact, if not for this visa lottery, I wouldn't have stood a chance. You knew where I stood. Yes, I know, but I don't know if as a man I could have asked you to make such sacrifice and to marry into such poverty. I will always be grateful to God for coming through so timely. So you know my expectations were very high leaving Nigeria to come to America. But Sometimes it just feels like my coach just did me this one big favor and was like, you're going off from here. Oh, that's not true. I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying how I feel. And you accuse me of not listening to you. <laughs> oh yeah, continue, I'm listening. We've been in this country for about three years. I expected that by now we'll be doing way better than this. I expected that by now we'll have something to show for the amount of time spent. And on the other hand, the financial responsibility is enough stress for someone to just want to run and go back home. I mean, we could be living in a better and bigger apartment than this, but I have to subject you to this dungeon just to save money for dependents that are not even my own children. It's a sacrifice that I'm gladly making. And please, don't call my house a dungeon again. My bad. You know, the fact that we're able to help take care of so many people is a huge accomplishment. Do you think that if you were back home and you had finished school, even if you had gotten a job as a civil servant, that you'd be able to do the same thing? I know there's a lot of pressure, but it's not coming from me.
Don't you ever wish for better circumstances? Of course. Sometimes it gets really hard, especially in the winter. But even on the worst days, you're the one that helps me on. You give me hope. So let me ask you this. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if you married Desmond? Yes. I've wondered, but I've never wished it. You've been here to see that my guy do he die? Yeah, so sorry for the loss. That's a tragedy. Happy? Come on, small, small sickness. We no be anything for this side. Go just the claim left anyhow for that side. Which which can contribute that self? Ha! You know what our country needs? Young educated minds with proper vision. Yes. These recycled leaders are old and have lost their vision, if they ever had one. Ah! Imagine, say, for this era, never see the carry lights. Ha! I beg give us young innovators. See how our young artists are making waves on a global level now. Huh? That's only part of the solution. Ha. What we really need are leaders with a heart. True. With love and compassion for the people. Hey. I mean, anyone can get a degree. Even ha. the devil is very educated. No start for president. I, I beg, I beg, I'm not interested. Shebi, you see him? You see him? This is one of the major issues with our citizens. Even now they talk, nobody wants to step forward, make change. Go sit down. Effie, I'm boiling eggs. You want some? No, my love. I don't want to be late for work. I'm leaving. One of these days, I'll soon be in nurse's uniform. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Listen, uh, I have some plans I want to run by you. I think you might actually favor them. Really? Yes. Yeah. Later. I thought they said you're not allowed to wear jewelry at work. What? Oh, um, I don't think they meant wedding rings. Oh, okay. All right. Enjoy your day.
back to that assignment. No way. So like I said, I've been really thinking about how to make this baby plan work. So I've been doing some major research and I think I have a solid plan. So just a few days ago, I ran to Stanley. He used to work at Billion Security Guards. Remember the one that I used to work with before? So we're catching up and I discover he's no longer working security. He's now doing taxi. And <laughs> I can just see because funny enough, the time we we're working together, we used to brainstorm the idea of taxi and then I just jammed this guy for street. I mean, is that a confirmation of what? <sighs> Man, listen, if I put in the time I put in security into taxi, especially if I own my own car, <laughs> okay, my love, this is now a major hit. We can even start shooting for the baby sooner than planned. I'm thinking like October, November, you know, after a fourth semester, that way we'll be expecting by a summer break. <laughs> See, I told you, I really put some serious thoughts into this. Come on, you're not saying anything. So what do you think? Um, that sounds interesting. Interest? Oh, okay. Okay, you're worried about the financial aspect, right? Okay, look, this whole taxi plan will run us a little over like $5,000. That's including the fees, TLC license, documents, insurance, and even down payment for financing a new car. So how are we going to get the money? Okay, well, already we're saving for the fall semester. And that's not due to what, October, Abby? So, I mean, if I start doing the taxi, we can raise the money by like August ending. I mean, I'll still be doing my security hours, just less hours, not too much, so I can still do it's that. It's only $2,000. Wait now, wait, wait, wait first. Just hear the whole plan, okay? Um, okay, so if I double up on my hours, I'll talk to the supervisor, that shouldn't be a big problem. You can still maintain your same hours. Your time is not necessary, unless you want to. I mean, that could always help, but I think, between both our checks, we can raise like, let's see, 4,000 by August. And yeah, hopefully if this new assignment goes steady before the end of summer, we can do that. You don't think it'll work? Babe, no, seriously, I've, I've been really thinking about this. I mean, even going to Stanley, isn't, isn't that like a sign? That's not that. No? Don't, what? Sorry, I should have told you. I just didn't want to add more stress to your plate. Sorry for what? You have nothing to be sorry about. That bastard is going to be so sorry. I swear. That's another reason why I didn't want to tell you. Just... Let it go, please. I've already filed a police report. I can't believe he also filed a police report. How dare he? No, sir, let it go. <sighs> the truth will come out.
so sorry. This is all my fault. Masa, please, don't do that. If you didn't have to work, this would have never happened. No, stop it. Don't do that to yourself. This has nothing to do with that. I want to work. I'm, I'm going to work. Please, please. Let's not argue over this. I need you to respect my decision as your husband. It's very important to me. This stupid paper now. What are you looking for? This telephone number I wrote on a piece of paper and I put it in my wallet. Oh, I hate when this happens. Ah! Maybe try checking your wallet. <laughs> okay, okay, don't kill me. <laughs> I'm assuming you think you left it in your pants. Why don't you try checking the top door of the night stand? Why don't you just help me look for it instead of asking me a thousand questions? Ah, okay, I beg. No vex, I'm just trying to help. Whenever I do your laundry, I normally check your pockets and take whatever I find out and put it in the top drawer of the nightstand. That's why I'm asking. Okay, please. Don't be angry. Why is this number so important anyway? My first supervisor, Tunde, traveled about two weeks ago, and we have this new guy covering for him. He's acting really shady. He doesn't want to give me any hours. He's acting like he's his father's company or something. Anyway, before Tunde left, he gave me his telephone number, and he's close with the owner, so I want to reach out to him and see if he could put in a word for me. You know how much you really need this. about safety. So, you're saying you can't place me because he filed a police report? Really? Two months? Wait.
On another note, I know you've heard. That was... Come on. You know what I'm talking about. It's trending all over social media. Desmond. So you have heard. Isn't that crazy? First of all, it's not trending. Ugh, but you still manage to hear. Do I smell some sort of interest in other people's affairs? You shamelessly posted it all over IG. Uh-uh. Why'd you get so much pleasure from people's pain? Ah, oh, please. You make it sound like somebody died. They just broke up for crying out loud. Or should I say, he broke up with her. So you don't see any pain, man? Well, of course there's pain, but that's a part of life. She'll get over it. <laughs> Plus, it's probably best for her anyways. <laughs> Cynthia, you're cold. Oh, come on, you know that's not true. I have insight. I'm speaking intelligently. What kind of insights? Oh, I thought you were not interested. Cynthia, if you don't talk right now, I'll jump over this table and ah, strangle you. My sister, violence is never the answer. We are talk now. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. He broke up with her because he doesn't love her. What? Mm -hmm. Yep. And I commend him for that. Shows honesty and integrity. He didn't even ask for the car back. So, how did you know he wasn't in love with her? He told me. He told you? Exactly what I just said. As in, he spoke to you on the phone. Why do you sound so surprised? We talk. Why would he be sharing intimate aspects of his relationships with you? Uh-uh. Like I said, we talk, and quite often. How come you've never told me this before? Of course not. You are a happily married woman. I thought such things wouldn't interest you. Yeah, I know, but still. Don't forget, I knew him before you. I practically introduced you both because I saw this dazzling potential, but you shut it down. Was I supposed to banish him from my friendship? So you guys have been in touch all this while? Well, we maintain our friendship. And you talk often? Well, in different season. Look, I'll put it this way. We may not talk for a while, but when we do, we just pick up where we left off. He's that cool. <laughs> Now who's got a special interest in him? Oh, no, 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 no. And definitely not on his part. In fact, you would be quite interested to find out the real reason why he broke up with his girlfriend, even though he did tell me in confidentiality. The real reason? But you said it was because he wasn't in love with her anymore. Mm. True. that's because he's still in love with somebody else. Who? <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop. I, honest to God. You're it, baby. No. <laughs> I bet talk true now. I'm serious. I'm not kidding. Look, Desmond, was in love with you that deep, okay? He said he will not marry another woman unless he feels that kind of love. His exact words, cross my heart. Okay, uh, okay. So do you know anyone that might have his number? I already asked him, he said he doesn't have it. Anyway, do you know when he's scheduled to come back to work? Eh? That's almost two months from now. O okay, 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 bye, bye. What kind of stuff is this now?
dollars. Honey, I almost fainted. Ha! Huh. I mean, I knew she was going to help us, but I thought she was going to give us two, maybe five hundred dollars at most. When I saw that extra zero on that check, I couldn't believe it. Ha! Huh. This is the wildest thing that has happened to us in a long time. Wow. Cynthia, wow. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Life is so unpredictable at times. Ah. Oh. I appreciate her thoughtfulness. This is like a dream. I know! But we can't accept this. What? I just wish you politely refused it initially. Now it's just going to be really awkward when we have to give it back. What are you talking about? You're joking. <laughs> you almost had me. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm very serious. No, sir. To be honest, I'm kind of disappointed in you. No, sir, what, what are you talking about? Is that what you do? Going running around to talk to Cynthia about personal struggles? No, sir. Huh. By now, the whole town must have heard. They must be thinking, wow, I can't even take care of my wife. Oh, they want you, but you won't listen. I won't be surprised if there's a song that comes out in the next few days about this tragedy. What a foolish girl. She chose a beggar over a prince. No, sir, what are you talking about? I don't know what's going on with you, but you better snap out of it. No, you're the one that needs to snap out of it. I will be damned if I allow Cynthia make a mockery of me, or you for that matter. Is that what this is about? Your pride? Did you ask her or did she volunteer it? What? You heard me. No, sir, I've already told you. I was just as shocked as you are when she gave it to me. So why would she offer to help you if you didn't go crying or running to her? How did she know the exact amount we talked about? She didn't put your name on the check. She wrote mine in bold. No, sir, I've never known you to be this petty. Oh, yeah? Go ahead. Insult me. Disrespect me. I have always given you the utmost of respect. If that is the case, respect my decision now. Henceforth, you cannot discuss our personal affairs or issues with her. Call her first thing in the morning and let her know our decision. gladly call her. In fact, I'll call her tonight. Just show me something. Give me another $5,000 check or $4,000. You know what? I'll even take $3,000. Something. Just something that justifies this pride of yours. I may not be rich, but I have self-respect and nobody would ever take that away from me. Nobody. No. Not you, and definitely not Cynthia. This is not self-respect, no, sir. This is pride. Pride. And you want to kill us with it. Not with hunger, but with pride. Uh -uh. I know men who have way more money, way more self-respect, that have sunk to their knees and thanked God for a lot less. What you need to do, no, sir, is call her and say thank you. How dare you? How dare you take the gesture from my friend, my dear friend, and just spit on it like that? She sacrificed her hard-earned money to lift us up, and you just trampled it underfoot. This 
This is the most hurtful thing you have done to me, Nosa. You're so wrapped up in your own self-loathing that you can't see who you're dragging down with you. Self-loathing? Yes! For months, all you've been doing is complaining, whining about this, that, and the other. No, sir, I have tried my hardest to be patient, to be encouraging, but I find myself walking around on eggshells when I'm with you. In the last month, everything I do seems to irritate you, and you seem to find fault in everybody. I am sorry. Sorry that I can't come home and fake it. I am sorry that I decided to be transparent with my wife. I am sorry that I am doing my best to handle my responsibilities in spite of the crappy hand that life is dealing me. You make it sound like you're the only one going through something or that we haven't overcome challenges together. At least in the past you used to be hopeful. Now it's just whining, whining, whining. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry you call that transparency. I can't believe you're heaping insult on, my, on me because of Cynthia. Cynthia! You're so bloody, you can't even see her motive. You think she's doing this out of the goodness of her heart? She never wanted us to get married. She never wanted to see us happen. This is our opportunity to just gloat over me. You're still holding on to that? You're confusing me. Is this bitterness or pride? Or maybe it's both. There you go, just proving me right. Ever been this disrespectful? No! No way! You don't get to do that! You don't get to silence me! I am not being disrespectful! It is my turn to be transparent with you! In the last month, I have found myself walking on eggshells to make sure that I'm not stressing you out to the point that I had to bottle up the fact that I almost got raped! I thought I already apologized for that! I am sorry that you have to walk. If I was rich like what's his name, you would never have to walk a day in your life. So I am sorry. It is my fault that you almost got raped. I am traumatized. But somehow it's all about you. If that's not self-loathing, I don't know what is. I don't want to continue having this conversation. The check was written out in my name. So, if you want it that badly, let her go and write it on your name. And while you're there, she can pay for your school fees and feed you too. The third uh, surgery is almost a month from now. I'm going earlier. How long after are you going to be there? Hello, young man. Hello, sir. How are you? Good afternoon, sir. I'm fine, thank you. 
Well, let me use this opportunity to let you know you're doing a fine job on this property. Thank you, sir. Miss Sarah, are you, are you playing by yourself? Oh, no. I found this early today in the attic. It used to be one of my wife and I's favorite game. Just staring at it brings back such pleasant memories. Do you play this? Uh, yeah, some, sometimes with my wife. Wow, that's great. Speaking of your wife, I haven't seen her in a while. Is she on vacation? Something like that, yeah. Alone? Without you? Well, I suppose she won't mind me challenging you to a game. W right now? Why not? Oh, unless you're scared. Scared? What, me? Ah, uh, no, no, no. You said what? Just wait right there. Let me finish taking the trash bags out, eh? Don't run away. Oh. oh, I see we have a trash talker on our hands. Well, I'll be right here. And when I'm done schooling you, you'll know why they call me the professor. So that smells so good. I hope it tastes half as good as it smells. I hope so, too. <laughs> oh my goodness, don't you hate that? Oh, one day I was visiting a colleague of mine and his mother was cooking in the kitchen. Wait, male colleague at home with his mother. <laughs> but yeah, continue. Uh, oh, please, it's nothing like that, not even close, okay? Anyways, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. Yeah, sorry, ma. Mm-hmm. As I was saying, the woman had me salivating over the smell of the food. It was so obvious he had to offer me some. And of course, who was I to be rude and refuse? So I obliged. <sighs> Lord who sent me. Chai! That bad. What? Let's just say the smell was going north while the taste was going south at full speed. <laughs> I thought I was eating something different. It tasted so watered down. Oh my goodness. It was, it tasted as though someone came in and poured a gallon of water inside. Wow, that bad. My sister, I kid you not. <laughs> well, <laughs> with the way I have in this woman's food, I'm even reconsidering you trying my own. Mm -mm. It's too late now, I must chop that today. <laughs> this girl, you never learn your lesson. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. You're in town? Wow. Oh my God. If I stop, please come, come. Please come in. Come in. Uh, How you feel? Oh, hi. H how are you? I'm well, thank you. And you? Good. Um. Please excuse me for a second. Oh, you look so nice, Cynthia. Oh, please Cynthia. Have, have a seat. Look, I promise I didn't know he was coming. I didn't even know he was in town. I'm just as surprised as you are. Why don't I believe you? I him? swear. This is so embarrassing. Don't worry. You don't look that bad. Oh, besides, I thought you didn't care what he thinks. Cynthia, I'm in no mood to be jolly. Jolly? Sorry, just change now, and then maybe also put on some clothes. But did he know that I was staying here with you? Please, let me get back to our guests. We don't want to be rude. He's in there waiting by himself. So what are you up to these days? Oh, you know, nothing much. I'm just working, you know, keeping myself busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see your business is doing well. Absolutely, you yeah. know, we just have to keep it going. <laughs> you know. Oh, here comes the Fosa. That's Mrs. Efosa Edose. So how have you been, Efosa? I've been well, thank you. My apologies for any inconvenience, you know, popping up here without any notice. But you didn't have to change because of me, you know. I didn't change because of you. I wanted to. Not to seem forward, but you look as beautiful as earlier. <laughs> Desmond, you're such a gem. And you're such a great chef, you know. This place <laughs> smells like paradise kitchen. Oh, it's not me, y'all. 
that was the uh, hard work of our chef at Fossa. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Fossa, this smells delicious. And I bet you the taste matches. <laughs> Oh, would you like to try some? Well, my pleasure, of course. I would absolutely love to. I'm not going to let you win this time. <laughs> yes, please, let me win for the fifth straight time. Yeah. Cynthia, it's Musa. How are you? Um, I've been trying to reach Afosa and it's going to a voicemail. It's not letting me leave a message. So can you call me back? I want to pay a visit or something. Anyway, call me back, please. I'm not the villain, you know. Why would you say that? I mean, why are you ignoring me? So you are ignoring me. I didn't say that. Then you're not ignoring me? I didn't say that either. You know, it feels good to hear your voice, I mean, more so that you're talking to me live. Thank God for the privilege to, you know, travel the world, see a lot of beautiful things. You know, at times I just want to shop and just ship it to you, make no strings attached. You know? <laughs> Certain times I buy female jewelry and leave it in my closet. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I get asked, like, hey, why are you doing this? I'm like, oh, it keeps me in touch with my feminine side. <laughs> Sometimes I say it's for the future. You're not saying anything. I'm listening. Right. Do you want to see something? Sure. Just brace yourself for this, though, because um, I'm a little bit surprised when you see this, honestly. And um, trust me, I still remember this like it was a few minutes ago. And I remember on the day we took this picture, I told my friend, I said, you see this girl? I will marry her. Yeah, but hey, look, he still teases me to this day. He calls me an Okrika prophet. An Okrika prophet? Yeah, it's not funny. <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry, but that's funny. No, 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 it's not funny to be called an Okrika prophet. And more so, it's your fault. <laughs> well, it's good to know that I can still make you laugh, though. What do you two love birds chuckling over? Cynthia! What? I beg. I'm just playing. Come on, Cynthia. Hey. All right, I'm sorry. Um, you know what? I'm, I probably should just, um, yeah, um, look at this point. All right? If also I will. Okay. <laughs> Hi.
Oh my God. Oh my God. I just, I just want to die right now. What, what happened? Oh no, my goodness. I just want to vanish. Oh. Cynthia, will you calm down and tell me what happened? Melissa, I am, I'm so sorry. I'm, I, I, from the bottom of my, I am so sorry. Please, what has this got to do with me? I just, I just made the biggest mistake, and I am so. It was the biggest boo boo. I, I swear, it was a mistake. Would you just tell me what it is and stop beating around the bush? Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, I text you a picture earlier, or I thought I text you a picture, but. Anyways, I was wondering why you hadn't responded. So I went back to check my phone to see if it went through, and it, it, it did go through, but I. I sent it to the wrong person. What did you send and to whom did you send it? I, I sent it to Nosa. What did you send to Nosa? God. I, I, I'm so, so oh sorry. Oh my God. It, it's a horrible mistake, I promise. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Cynthia, it's a mistake. A mistake. How could you be so careless? What kind of mistake is that? Our names are not even close. I know, it's, it's the way I saved your names. How did you save him? It, I saved him as if I says M. Mm? Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I, I sent the text to Ifosa's M instead of Afosa. Why didn't you just save his name as Nosa? Afosa, come on, you know I know a lot of Nosas. <sighs> Where's my phone? No, 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 wait, wait, okay? Don't be in such a rush. It's my mistake. I'll fix my mess, okay? Give I'll handle my it. phone. No, Ifosa, stop being so desperate. I mean, come on, girl. Has he even called yet? What does that have to do with anything? Girl, if, if it were you, you would have called because you would have been so damned concerned. Listen, I'm trying to stay out of your private affairs, but I am so sick of seeing this man take you for granted like this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You're an enabler. Good. You want to call him? Call him. And then you'll be back to square one. Back to your old mess. So what am I supposed to do? Just sit around and wait? Hell yeah! Fosa, you are the woman. And a gem at that. Okay? He is the man. The man is supposed to chase you. But I bet you a man would not pursue a woman that he did not see value in. And with your overzealousness, he'll never get the chance to see how precious you are. I mean, how many times has he come by here to see you? I can't believe it. I thought I was my hero. <laughs> she gave me hope in women. This thing don't pay me well, well. Kai! 
But why would she do something like this now? Huh? Wait, what do you mean, why would she do something like this? What did she do? <laughs> wait, wait. No, no, you just now, nah, just now, nah, just show me something for your phone. Say something your baby. Which one you can't ask me what did she do? <laughs> no, nothing with the trouble. When I say you don't get confused. And you say you can't confuse me on top. Feel something. Bros, why now? Where they go now? Mr. Edward. Good morning, no, sir. Have you been avoiding me? No. May I come in? May I come in? It's 4 a.m. 4? Oh God, this not feel wait. What was that? Sorry, I mean, can't this wait till later? Well, for one, you have been avoiding me. But more importantly, I heard the most sound decisions are made very early in the morning, between 5 and 6 a.m. It's 4 a.m. Well, if we start talking now, by the time it's 5 a.m., you'll be ready to make a sound decision. Ain't you going to offer me a seat? Please offer seats. It's more like it. Thank you. Do you want something to drink? Water, juice, coffee, NyQuil? <laughs> I see you waking up. Last time we spoke, you were thanking me for advice I didn't even know I gave. You were determined to go reconcile with your wife and bring her back home. You even got me so excited when you shared your plans to surprise her with a visit. Come on. What happened between then and now? Look. I've watched you two guys live here for two years now, and it's been special. You have something beautiful, so beautiful and special that I'm willing to put my reputation on the line coming out here so early in the morning. Even though I'm sleepwalking now and will have no recollection of this whole thing when I wake up later. So what's going on?
That's the man her father wanted her to marry. I couldn't even meet her parents, even though we're madly in love. It wasn't anything personally with them, I just... I wasn't practical. And where we're from, love's a Mr. Practical. I couldn't provide her with the good things of life that she needed without her depending on her parents. And then comes in Prince Charming, professing his undying love for her. <laughs> but she was a rebel. <sighs> she would not give in to all the pressure. And it wasn't just coming from her family or her friends. Everyone that knew her had an opinion of me. But she was determined. She was going to marry for love. And that was it. But I was poor. My father was poor. His father was poor. And so on. I had no business falling in love with her. I take it she's from a wealthy family. No, but she comes from a very well-respected and educated family. I see. I wanted it to work out for us so bad. I prayed and prayed and God answered. <laughs> if I didn't believe in God before then, I certainly did after. So what happened? I got a visa lottery to America, the land of opportunity. Suddenly everything just changed. I had potential. I mean, her parents still preferred her to marry the other guy, but they knew she wouldn't relent, so they yielded. So where'd you get the picture? My friend, cousin. That's it to me. And you think, with all you've told me, she would just change her mind that easily? We've been married for four years. She has seen all the cards in my hand. Not much of a deal. Well, love, true love, always hope and believe for the best in spite of the circumstances. Many people claim to marry for love, but it's in marriage that they find out what love truly requires of them. And frankly, that is the reason for so many broken marriages. There's no love without sacrifice. No selfishness in love, that's more like lust. And once many find out what love demands of them, they want out. One of the most attractive attributes of love is humility. Many men count it as weakness. But the fact, not a lot of us possess the strength of character it requires to bend our knees. Especially when we feel justified in our stand. Hear me on this. You have something very special, very rare, very precious. Preserve it. Fight for it. Don't let pride rob you of it. I know it's easy to expect it to come running back into your arms. But sometimes, you have to remind her why she should come running back. It's not easy. It all seems too straight and narrow at times. But it's the way. Goodness, what time is it? 6.37. Oh, no, no, no. The dry cleaner closes at 7. I have to get that dress for tomorrow. Why don't you just go and get it in the morning? The event is until the evening. Mm -mm. They close on Sundays. Oh, Desmond, Hi. come on in, come on in. All right. Listen, I'll be right back. I have to go to the dry cleaners, OK? okay. I'll see you in a sec. All right.
How are you doing, Afosa? I'm okay. Um, I got you a little something. What is it? Well, there's only one way to find out. Why don't you try it on? Desmond, you know I can't do that. What's wrong? Is it broken? Desmond, I'm being serious. Why did, why did you want to complicate things? I mean, there are no strings attached. I mean, I specifically made sure the the price tag was taken off. There's, there's nothing, it's just a gift. <sighs> Where'd you see this going? Wherever love leads, I suppose so. Look. I've never gotten over you. I I don't I don't think I can. My love for you will never die. Maybe it's maybe it's just a crush. No. It's more than that. This is true love. Look, I've been blessed with a lot. Whatever money can buy, I can afford it. See, but all of these things don't matter if they're not shared with that special someone. If it was a, no woman, none has been, none has been able to come close to taking your place in my heart. How 
much is Desmond paying you? What are you talking? Pay me for what? To wreck my home. First of all, I have no idea what you are talking about. Secondly, I think you need to calm down before you say something that you're going to regret. You're going a little too far. Oh, really? Yes. That is what you make out of this? It's rather obvious. Please, Fosa. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, am I? Yes, very much. I, I can't believe that that would even cross your mind. Obviously, you don't know me as well as you think you do. And certainly don't know Desmond at all. Let me tell you something about Desmond that you either don't know or refuse to understand. Desmond is a great guy. A great guy. The most generous person I know, and that's an understatement. You're stumbling over this? Please. That's just chicken change for people like Desmond. At least he chooses to help people. Forgive me for my naivete, but $8,000 seems a lot more like a paycheck than charity. That is because your husband is poor. It probably takes him two months of hard work plus overtime just to see something like this. But this, this is a dinner dress, a birthday gift, a wristwatch to people like Desmond. And he chooses to help people. I didn't know you were in need of charity. Of course. And you will never know because even if I needed money, I would never come running to you. So that's what you think of me. Every time I have confided in you with my financial struggles, you think I'm asking you for money? Nossa was right about you. Thank God we didn't take your money. Well, that still doesn't change the fact that he is still broke and still putting you through supper head in America. By the way, where did you think that $5,000 came from? <sighs> Cynthia, not everything in life is about money. There are more important things. Things like love, like your character, like your soul. Something you've clearly sold to become a home wrecker in exchange for his generosity. Wow. That was low, Fosa. That hurt. That is so nice. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, yes. Ah, more, 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 more. Wait, one more, one more, one more. 